San Diego. Mm, drink it in. It always goes down smooth. <laughs> Hey, Beer Tube, Ryan here. Uh, this is going to be a beer trash and beer mail episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Um, drinking some of my uh, homebrew IPA. It's not really a very pale IPA, but it's on the dark side. So anyway, let's go through the uh, this Labor Day weekend beer trash. Still finishing off my case of Yellowtail Pale Ale. Finally tried my first Mikeller beer, Beer Geek Brunch Breakfast. Um, pretty good beer, not the best Imperial Stout I've had, but um, I, I thought it had some uh, good uh, coffee characteristics. I wouldn't say the uh, that Weasel Coffee makes a significant difference, but I enjoyed it. I, I won't buy it again. It's too much money. Um, Lost Abbey Serpent Stout. I have no idea why this beer does not get more hype than it does because this is one of the best Imperial Stouts I think you can find on a somewhat regular basis. At least you can in San Diego. I see this stuff everywhere. Um, and I'm kind of glad it's not a uh, more hyped up beer since I can find it so easily. But well worth the uh, 12 or so dollars you'll pay for a bottle of that. Um, Jolly Pumpkin. This is the Calabaza Blanca. This is a Vit Beer or White Ale. Um, I, I wrote some reviews for the Beer Geek Nation website and I was doing a, kind of a series of White Ales, but I never got around to this one. But uh, maybe next year I'll do that in the summertime. But unfortunately, this is, I'm pretty sure, the only beer or the only brewery from Michigan that we actually get here in California. We, we do not get Bells, we do not get Founders. Uh, there's probably a few others we don't get as well from Michigan, but this is one we do get, and we do get their whole line, which is great. Uh, the label came off of this one, but this is Hobgoblin from uh, Winchwood Breweries. Uh, bought this. Thanks to uh, Simon at the uh, Real Ale Guide, turned me on to this one. I had always seen it, but I didn't know much about it. So thanks to his review, I bought this. Uh, I did start. I drank this a little too cold, but towards the end, as it was warming up, it it became a really nice beer. Uh, next time, I'm going to wait till it warms up more. Uh, Rush for eight, uh, solid beer. Um, I mean, the 8 fits between the 6 and the 10, but it's kind of, they're all kind of similar as they go. I think I'm going to stick with 10 or 6, because 6 is a little lighter and 10 is a little more uh, heavy duty. That one's just kind of the middle. It didn't do a whole lot for me. All right, this is a beer I really wish we could get year-round out here in California. Bell's Two Hearted Ale. Very, very nice beer. Uh, this one I think could definitely compete in the San Diego market. Very nice beer. Um, we're finally starting to get a lot of the, uh, the, the more limited edition dogfish head brews and this is Satie. I've never had a traditional Finnish Satie so I don't know how this compares but um, not a bad beer. Definitely one you want to split with one or more people. I couldn't drink a whole lot of that. Brew Dog Stone Collaboration Beer Bash. Uh, I did a review on this. Check that out. it will be up in the future. Dugana IPA from Avery. This reminded me of a couple IPAs I've had. I, d I think they classify this as a, a, a double IPA. Uh, it's at 8.5%. Um, very solid IPA. Not as good as Maharaja. That's probably my favorite IPA right now. Very solid one. I think it reminded me a bit of Hop Stupid is the beer that I'm thinking is close to resemble that. I uh, probably won't get that again. Stone Ruination IPA did a review on that. Check that one out. Uh, let's see. 
Had a trade for this one, Southern Tier Creme Brulee Stout. Um, very tasty beer. God, it smells just like Creme Brulee. Amazing beer. Uh, Taste-wise, I thought initially it did taste a lot like Creme Brulee. As it warmed up, I thought it gave it more like a, a mocha kind of coffee flavor to it, but very tasty, but not very highly drinkable. I recommend sharing with at least a couple other people. Finally got around to trying a Saison DuPont. Uh, excellent beer. Check out uh, Chris at Beer Geek Nation's review on this one. This is very traditional, very tasty Saison. Uh, Trader Joe's. Oops. Fumble that one. Trader Joe's. Started carrying Duval, so excellent. Not not my favorite Bells and Golden Ale, but uh, a classic, a very solid one. Still not a complete huge fan of that beer. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get it, but um, this is the latest, or sorry, this is not the latest. This is the collaboration beer between Firestone Walker, 21st Amendment, and Stone. This is their El Camino Unreal Black Ale. Excellent, excellent dark beer. Check out my review of that one. And we've got a couple more in here. Another Yellowtail Pale Ale. And lastly, this is the Kern River Brewing Company Just Outstanding IPA. Just posted a review of this one as well. So check it out on my YouTube channel, San Diego Beer Vlog. And as I go through this pile of beers, I did a trade with with uh, Barry, aka T Salts, on YouTube. He has his Barry's Beer Reviews slash Craft Beer Advocate. Anyway, I was able to get some beers for me. First up is Dogfish Heads Bitches Brew. This is a uh, Imperial Stout Ale brewed with honey and. Gesho or Gisho. Anyway, tribute to the 40th anniversary of Miles Davis's Bitches Brew album. Um, one of my favorite Miles albums. Um, at the time, I didn't know if this was going to be coming out to California, but I, I have since learned that it will be showing up here. So, uh, let me get a couple bottles of that one, but thanks, Barry. This one I definitely cannot get here in California. Brick and Brewery's Black Chocolate Stout. Seen a lot of great reviews on that one. Looking forward to trying that one. All right, Smutty Nose, another brewery I cannot get out on the West Coast. This is their Baltic Porter. I'm a big fan of uh, porters and definitely Baltic porters. So looking forward to giving this one a try. Um, I actually got two bottles of that Brickle and Black Chocolate Stout. And uh, another one from Southern Tier. Um, I've been trying to get all their Imperial Series. This is their Coffee Stout. I also have their Chocolate Stout as well. I got in another trade. And hopefully I can trade for their uh, their Pumpkin Beer, Pumpkin, soon. Because I heard that one's excellent as well. So, uh, thank you, Barry. Hope you enjoyed your beers. I think Barry's going to be doing a beer mail on his beers that I sent him. So, uh, that's it for today. This is Beer Trash and Beer Mail, or I might rename it as What's Coming and What's Going. So, cheers, guys.